Hi guys, welcome to our unboxing of the Aphrodite tabletop steamer. I'm going to show you quickly how it comes and how to assemble it. It's quite easy and quick. First of all, we need to get it out of the box. Quite easy. It comes with a nice little handle, the box, so I just slide it out gently. Go. Now, this is the box it comes in. As you can see, it's got the facial part and the hood part. Very easy to remove from the box. Just pull it out from here. Lift up the top cover. Open it. You've got in there, you've got your instruction booklet. Tells you exactly how to operate it. The best way to use it. It's all there for you. Now the easiest way to get this out without damaging the box is flip it over and just gently lift it up. Nice and easy. So as you'll see on the back side we've got the parts. These are the facial parts. We've got the facial similar part here. And this is the part that connects the hood, which we'll see in a minute, to the um, to the base. Put these out of the way. So this is your hood part that comes in. Easily lift it out, carefully lift it out. Comes in nice packaging, well packed, as you can see. Put that out of the way. You've got these foam inserts that protect it during the shipping process. Remove those. And just have a quick look as you can see you've got the open and closed valve to let excess steam out when you're steaming yourself if you want it less or more this is a little plung, plug, plunger here or a little plug where if the condensation of the steam comes through you can release it and drain it if it fills up in here after you've steamed this is the main body of the steamer so remove this from the packaging these come with a UK British uh, standard plug. Remove the plastic. And it comes with a decent length cable. Let's get these out of the way. Right, so what we want to do first of all, before we plug it in, we can see here this part of the steamer, you remove it. This is where you can put the water directly into the steamer once you've attached the head and the uh, neck or the face piece, sorry. So, to assemble the head piece, we remove, this is the part we call the neck of the hood. So very easily, all we do, it can only fit a certain way. So we will slide that in this way, sorry. That bit slides in there. And that bit slides in there just slide them in they don't need to click they just need to slide all the way down and as you can see this rubber piece here needs to slide over to the hole and fit over to help the steam what happens is the steam goes through there and comes out into the steamer so we'll slide that on nice and tight and that's good to go now second part is this is the fixture that goes into the body of the steamer so well, what we do, we slide that around. It's got two rubber circles on there and they just slide straight down onto the steamer and it's done. There's no, there's no, it doesn't click or anything because it's got the rubber seals on there uh, for that reason. Now here, under here you can see there's a bit of tape. We can remove the tape. This tape is just to stop the protector from flapping about in transit. So this, um, this protects you from touching the glass because this can get very hot because the water will boil in here. You've got your minimum and your maximum levels. We recommend you keep it above the minimum, but the computer inside the steamer will always warn you as it goes below the minimum to fill it up again. So we can keep these closed if we're not using it and, and when we're using it to protect anyone touching that and burning themselves. So next part, we'll show you how the steam actually works. So we want to get water in there. Best to use 
either bottled or distilled water, tap water will reduce the life of the steamer. We will see, and you can see the water go directly into the chamber. So I will just put it halfway because it takes a little bit longer to boil. Close that up. Now what we're going to do, we're going to plug it in from the other side. As you can hear, there was a beep. That beep is telling you that the steamer is powered up and ready to go. Now you've got your steam setting and your ozone setting. So first of all, we want to turn it on with the steam setting. Red light comes on indicating that the steamer is on and it's starting to heat up. It takes a few minutes for the water to heat up. As it heats up, just to explain to you again, this can become very high temperature. So that's why we've got the two protectors here to stop anyone touching it while the steam is in use. And also you'll notice we've got a UV light inside. It's in the top of the steamer. So it says here as a warning, do not look directly at the UV light. Again, keep that closed when it's in use. This will turn on the UV light. So we'll turn that on. You can't see it because there's a lot of light. So I'll turn the light off so you can see the UV light is on in there. So that will create the ozone treatment, which is good for cleaning the scalp and cleaning viruses, bacteria and pathogens that are in the hair. It's a very good um, feature on the steamer. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but you can, if you get a bit closer, you'll see that the water is starting to boil. And you can hear it. So we'll turn the light back on. While that's boiling, let me explain to you this part. This part here is the facial steam. Now it fits in the same place that the hood fitted in and I'll remove it after and show you how that will attach. And you can use this, this facial part, which is, you can turn, this is where the steam will come out if you're doing a facial steam and you can extend it or contract it and move it any, any angle you want. This part on the top of the facial steam, if you push it down, you'll see there's a little pad in there. Now, what you can do, you can add aromatherapy oils to the pad when using it, or you can add some directly in there, but we recommend you just use it on the pad, which you can fit in. And then as it steams, you'll get the aromatherapy smells and oils coming through when you do the treatment. And this is the same fitting as the, as the neck of the steamer. It's got the two rubber um, circles here, which will seal the steam not to come out while it's steaming. So we'll come back to our steamer. As you can see, it's starting to boil. You can see the bu bubbles coming up. You can hear it. I can feel it. it's getting quite warm now. Take a couple of more minutes for that water. Remember, it has to get to 100 degrees Celsius to boil. And once it boils, you can see it's producing the steam. And in a couple of more minutes, the steam should start coming out of the hood. So again, this is the ozone treatment. You can have it either on or off. When it's off, the light will go off. When it's on, the light turns on straight away. And again, up here, this is the small stopper that you can remove to drain excess water after it's condensated and gone through here so it doesn't build up in here and over spill you can do that. So as we wait for the steamer to boil, there's a couple of features on the steamer that um, are quite important. Underneath the steamer, um, it's got a special uh, sensor inside. So if for any reason somebody knocks the table and tips the steamer, the steamer turns off automatically. You can see it's turned off and the lights are flashing. That's a special feature. As soon as we put it straight flat, it's off and you have to turn it back on again if you want it to carry on boiling. So that's a safety feature of this steamer, which is an excellent um, feature. Now, as you see, the, the bubbles are starting to come up. And we'll just wait now for the um, steam to come through any minute now. Of 
great. So if you look up here, you can start to see the steam coming through. At any second now, the whole hood will be full of steam as it comes through. So there you go, you can see the steam coming through nice and strongly. Now, at the top, we have an opening, which is used if there's excess steam in here to make it more comfortable for the customer or the person using it. You can just open the holes to release some of the steam to make it less or you can close it and it reduces the amount coming out to create more steam underneath. Again, we've got the ozone treatment on at the moment. If we wanted to stop the ozone treatment, all we have to do is press the ozone button. That turns off the light inside and then you just got normal um, H2O steaming and not O3 steaming. That's normal steam will come out. The steam from the normal steam will not be as misty as the ozone so once you've got the ozone off expect the steam to be less misty but it's still going to give you the same um, good steam treatments so now just to turn it off we press the steam button steamer is off now you'll watch and you'll see the bubbles will start to decrease because the heating element is cooling down slowly it will take a good 10 to 20 minutes for this to cool down, depending on the environment that the steam is in, if it's hot or cold. Once this cools down, you're free to empty the steamer. Um, it's quite easy, we can show you how to do that. Now, I just wanna show you quickly how the um, facial steam attaches. So from here, we just put our thumbs, hold, hold the neck of the steamer, put your thumbs on the steamer, and lift it straight off. Nice and easily comes off. And then we've got two points on the um, neck uh, facial steamer, on the neck of the facial steamer, which line up with the two points there. You'll, you'll feel it slide in, and now it's connected and it won't come off. 